my name is Josiah Ray. I'm going to give you a quick introduction in how to use CSS inside of Microsoft Expression. So here we are inside of Expression Web. And I'm going to right-click over here, and I'm going to create a new HTML. And this will, I'll just leave the default name here. And it defaults with that home icon. It means that that's the home page for my website. Now I'm going to create a new CSS page real quick. I'm just going to call this layout. It's my own personal preference. You can call it whatever you would like. I'm going to double click on the, uh, the default home page. Now my screen pops up with a split, but down here you can choose design, split, or just the code view. So we're going to go back to design real quick. And I'm going to just put some sample text in there. So this is my website. Now if you click inside the text, you'll notice that these tags pop up on top. Those are very important for how the CSS links into your web page. What we're going to do is come down here and you've got, you should have a couple of tabs, apply styles and manage styles. We're going to stay in apply styles and we're going to create a new style. And if you notice, this has the P icon for the, the tag that's attached to that text. We're going to, in, in the selector, type P. And instead of defining it inside the current page, which basically just has whatever we do stay in the page, we're going to put it onto the existing style sheet. And we'll browse for it. And Expression Web defaults to whatever the folder is that your web page is in, which is nice, so it kind of keeps everything together. So we'll click on Layout CSS and open it up. And inside the font, I'm going to make the text a really horrific pink. And we'll click Apply. And you'll notice that nothing's happened to our text yet. And while we've created the style, we haven't actually attached it to the page. And that's very easy to do. All you do underneath the Apply Styles is click Apply Style Sheet. You'll browse for it real quick. And again, it defaults to the same folder, so it's right there. You click Open and OK. Oh, you can also choose Link or Import. I prefer Link. Uh, it just it works a little bit cleaner when you're doing uh, multiple pages. And there you go. Now our text looks awful. So I hope you've enjoyed this quick intro into Expression Web and how to use CSS. I'm Josiah Ray.